Hey to your fans, welcome to a quick guide on how you can get started with uh, creating a scan and using FateMan.io. So, first things first, when you come to the site, you will see the section where you are able to create a scan. You will see some of the previous uh, scans pre created for you guys. So, you can just select any of the scans which are already created and you will have the uh, the condition show up here, but in, in our case, we'll try to uh, start from scratch and I'll just briefly explain the different elements in the app itself. So, first things first, the exchange. So, this option lets you select which exchange you want to scan for. In our case, we will go with uh, finance, but there are two options here. So, we keep this option as finance. The other section is to select which code. Uh, you are interested in uh, scanning so all basically moves all the pairs but if you are interested in a specific uh, pair then you can choose it from here uh, next we will go to creating the condition itself so what this basically does is the format is that each condition is separate from the other one so you can select multiple time frame uh, condition in a single scan so for the first example, you will select the option to add condition. You will get an option to select which time frame you are interested in. So in this case, we can go with uh, multiple options like uh, 5 minutes, 15 minutes, 1 hour and so on. So again, we will just maintain the default option for now as one day. So basically, you are interested in scanning one day candles. Then we have to select an indicator. So once you tap here, you get the different indicators that you can choose from. Again, to keep things simple, we'll select close price. And each of those indicators have a setting option next to it. So here, if you tap on this uh, icon, you can do the changes in the setting. So the setting that's available for close, as you can see here, is candles ago. So this option lets you select uh, previous close candles. So, if you see it's zero here, that basically means the latest completed candle. So, zero is the latest one. If I were to put here as uh, five, it basically means five candles ago. So, it will just go like one, two, three, and so on. So, we'll keep it as zero as we are interested in the latest example. And you have a couple of comparators that you have, like greater than, lesser than, and so on. Uh, in greater than and lesser than, you have uh, option to do some advanced uh, scanning. Like, uh, when you select this option, you get number of candles and option of percentage greater. You can select one of them at a time. So, number of candles basically means that uh, if you're trying to create a scan, where you're trying to say X is greater than Y for X number of candles. In that case, you would enter the value here. So, if you were to enter a value like 4 and close is greater than, let's say, simple moving average, 4, four candles, right? or 4, 3 candles. In that case, what would happen is you would basically enter the number of candles that you want that uh, first variable to be greater than the second one and it would take care of that. In our case, we are not interested in that. You could try it out though. And the second option is percentage greater. So in this case, if you're trying to, uh, what do you say, uh, uh, find scans or find coins specifically, which are certain percentage greater than the other indicators. So for example, in case of volume, if I'm interested in finding coins, this today's volume is say thousand times a thousand percent greater than yesterday's volume. So that's when you can use this. You can have greater than percent and you can have thousand value here. That would mean it's thousand percent greater than the previous one. So that's what this is for. We'll go with the default. Okay. And finally the RHS side. What do you want to compare with? We we'll go with the default SMA. Okay. So this is our first condition. Once you're done with this, all you need to do is run it. It will take a second or so, and once it is done, 
the scan, it will give you a list of all the reviews that's available. So as you can see, the reviews are ready. Let's tap on this one. So these are all the coins that have the close greater than SMA. And you can play around with other comparators. Some of the, uh, what do you say, other indicators are cross above, cross below, and rising and falling. So rising falling is a little unique because in case of rising and falling, what you have to do is once you select rising, it'll ask you for how many candles. And if you were to select, say, uh, give me a second, five, right? What that basically means is that you're looking for a coin whose close price has been going up back to back for five candles, five one day candles. So that's what this does. Let's run it and see. Is there any coin? Okay, there are some. So you can notice here, these are the coins, but a few of them. So in case of BTC pair, there are only five coins which are going up back to back for the last five days. Quite an interesting thing. But nevertheless, it's just a, a fact. And if you do see here, it's minus here. That's because this is real time or uh, up to last five minutes. But the candle that you see here, this is for the last completed candle. So you need to understand like all the indicators are calculated once the candle is completed. So other than that, one more thing I would like to share is the option to share your scans. This is really helpful if you want to like uh, debug your scan or if you have issues, you can probably just copy this, share with someone on the team or your colleagues and they could you know, debug your scan and basically prepare a, prepare a scan condition for you and then share it uh, via any, any way they would prefer. So you can copy this and just paste it and it will work well. I uh, hope this is helpful. This is very brief. I do understand, but uh, in the coming videos, I'll probably go more deep into each indicators, give you some ideas on how you can use uh, some of them, and hopefully that should help. Again, it's just uh, start. Uh, Tradeplan.io is in beta. And if you feel this is helpful, please share. Let others uh, know about this, and your feedbacks are more than welcome. So do let me know what you think. If there is a scan that you are not able to create, please describe in the comments and I will try my best to uh, create it for you and share the link via the comments itself. Thank you guys.